I can't believe my Stayball HD powder is finally here. And in this video, I'm gonna share our results with it. Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. This is a fun video. I've been waiting for a long time to get my hands on some Stayball HD. I talked to Aaron Olger this year at the SHOT Show. He was showing me the new Stayball HD and the new Stayball Match. We just did a complete story on Stayball Match. Really nice results. That's a Varget Burn Speed Powder. We've shown Stayball 6.5 numerous times here on the channel. That's a nice H4350-ish burn speed powder, maybe a little bit slower, great for the Creedmoor cartridges. Now we're talking Magnum. All of the Stayball powders are ball powders that are temperature insensitive and they have a copper fouling reduction agent. So that is a really good collection of attributes for a powder. And what's exciting about it is that we're not restricted to trickling or special bench rest powder measures. Ball powders meter very well, very consistently from a progressive auto throw powder measure. In other words, a case activated powder measure that's a part of the progressive process. So, Stayball HD, ideal for those cartridges that you would normally load with Rotumbo or H1000 powders around that range. Let's take a look at the burn rate analysis. So if we took a look at like 6.5 PRC, 7 millimeter PRC, and 300 PRC, that's going to fall right in that sort of magnum powder burn rate range. Here on the Hodgdon burn rate chart, it's going to start at about H4831 and H4831 SC, which is the shortcut, and it's going to go all the way to about 166 Ramshot LRT Vitivori N570. There's quite a few powders here that you're going to recognize, and if you load for magnums, you've probably used. You can see here that Winchester Stayball HD is at position number 162, so it's a little bit slower in the burn rate range compared to some of those powders like MagPro that fall closer to the middle. I have loaded 300 PRC with MagPro. I've gotten really good results with that powder, and this gives you yet another set of options for a set of different cartridges that you might want to load for that are magnums. So, example ideal cartridges, 6.5 PRC, 7 PRC, 7 REM mag, 300 PRC, 300 Win mag, kind of the usual suspects and some of the new suspects that you've seen here on the channel. Uh, so, this should turn out to be a pretty versatile powder and, you know, to have a ball powder to load with gives you that, that other option. Longer stick powders, short stick powders are pretty popular. Uh, and then you'll find ball powders in that magnum speed range, but typically not with the temperature insensitivity that the Stayball lineup of powders has been engineered with. Okay, so what we did here at Ultimate Reloader was we loaded up some 7 PRC cartridges and we loaded some 300 PRC cartridges with Stayball HD. And one thing to note here is, so the 300 PRC has a 26 inch barrel, which is pretty typical. 7 PRC only has a 22 inch barrel. So if we look at the load data with the 175 grain Hornady ELDX bullet, we had 71.1 grain charge weight, a velocity of 2848. When you get over 2800 feet per second with the Magnum with the 22 inch barrel, 22 inches in this case, because we wanted to run a suppressor, that is impressive. SD on that was 13.8 feet per second. But check out these 300 PRC results. The 212 ELDX bullet, this would be a fine long range cartridge. This would be a fine hunting cartridge with this exact load data. And the 212 ELDX bullet, 81.1 grains of Stayball HD, 2,952 feet per second. That is cooking. That's going to take care of business on a game animal for sure and give you a nice flat trajectory for long range shooting, especially with these high BC bullets that cartridges like the 6.5 PRC or 7 millimeter PRC or 300 PRC have. Here's another impressive note, an SD of 8.6. Now we didn't do any load development, we just went near max on these and gathered some simple chronograph data. So. Uh, I call these really impressive results. It's kind of like the Stayball match results that we saw. Velocities at the upper end of what we were seeing with our other load 
development exercises, other factory ammunition that we would shoot. So if you're after speed, I think the Stayball line of powders is a really good bet. Okay, under the microscope. This is kind of interesting. So Stayball HD is a flattened ball powder. We can see that here because we took two measurements, 40 thousandths of an inch and 58 thousandths of an inch, depending on if you're talking about the sort of diameter, the circumference of this flattened disc or the, the thickness, if you want to think of it that way. Not real different. So it's kind of a subtle, subtle flattened ball kind of profile. Uh, Rotumbo, which is stick powder, 64 thousandths of an inch in length. Magnum, 22 thousandths and 30 thousandths. So Magnum, you can see there very clearly in the picture. These are all left to right, by the way. Quite a bit smaller than the Stable HD. Very curious to see how things landed with, with Hodgson formulating this temperature insensitive flattened ball powder for, for Magnums. Kind of a challenge from uh, an engineering standpoint. And then finally, H1000 is a lot like Rotumbo, 66 thousandths for H1000 versus 64 thousandths for Rotumbo. I threw some other data in here. We don't have the side by side photo, but from our stable match story, we found that. Uh, the diameters or thicknesses were 22 thousandths of an inch for the thickness and 44 thousandths for sort of the diameter. So Stable HD is almost 50% larger in diameter, for instance, and is almost twice as thick. So in order to get the right results, definitely, you know, different granule characteristics. Very interesting stuff. Okay, so this was our first look at Stable HD. I think this shows some real promise. I'm going to want to look at 6.5 PRC with this powder because we're going to have more 6.5 PRC content coming up here on the channel and I love this combination of attributes for that cartridge. Another thing, we didn't load with the Progressive, definitely want to test that as well. It is a temperature stable powder with the copper reducer, great meter ability, very versatile uh, limitations. Definitely very high demand, just like for the Stayball match. And then uh, Hodgson is still working on low data and, and other you know, component suppliers and all that are also still working on low data. So you're going to find low data for the popular cartridges and the popular bullets, but you might have to do a little bit of work or a little bit of load development yourself if uh, you have something a little bit more obscure off the beaten path. And best for PRC and, and Magnum cartridges, right? PRC cartridges are Magnum cartridges. I'd be really curious to see what results you all get with something like 300 Win Mag. Uh, we did 300 PRC, 300 Win Mag should be pretty similar. Uh, are there other Magnum cartridges that you'd like to see Stayball HD loaded in? Drop a comment and let us know what you think. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.